Right, he was about he was about five. Oh my god, he's a child. He was a man, he seen me when you get home. That's sure. She know about the world, she's a whore. She got pregnant for the man. Hi guys, welcome to Boom Bitch. We got action and we have the legend, the myth, the one, the only young Carter, DJ Carter. Carter man, I mean he has the newest episode of Boom Bitch we got it. And that's why I try to get people this platform just to show people you can be your own boss with money. Make it make it a a legacy. Thank you for tuning in to the newest episode of Boom Bitch We Got Action and you know we got the action, honey. We are <laughs> we are here with the one the only creator of Humble LLC, Punch of Tula Goo. <laughs> Boom. And we're in your marvelous studio. When you said I come in the studio, I was just blown with the studio. What you going? What we going down the street to the studio? No, baby. Studio of uh, the headquarters of Humble. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Those who don't know, how long have you been doing Humble? Ooh. Well, um, I've been doing different things since, ooh, teenage days. So, I mean, I just finally LLC my name, mm, I'm going to say about two and a half weeks ago. Okay. So I LLC Humble, but it's not just Humble Hair or, you know, it's humble, then it's humble hair, humble sweets, you know, and any other branches that it's I have. An right, exactly. I'm, I'm, this is part of an empire. You gotta have multiple sources of multiple income. And what you say. You keep it coming. Okay. Because you, um, when we went, when we were on our little road trip, you also showed me that you do music too. And do. <laughs> so um, it's gonna be humble, humble concert. Well, mm -hmm. I would say that would be humble entertainment, Come actually. On. Um, the reason why I say that is because I don't just want to be, you know, one type of, one type of You want to be in a box. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly, exactly. And I completely understand that. Because sure. when people always ask, like, what do you want to do? You don't want to just have one answer. You want to have pages. Exactly. Because that way you don't, you, you can be kind of like a jack of all trades. You're here, you're there, you're over there. Right. The bank account is good. Right. And happy and satisfied. Exactly. And I don't see when, whenever I make it or whatever, I don't want nobody to say, oh, he was lucky. Because no, luck is when time meets opportunity. Hello. You get what I'm saying? When preparation means meets opportunity. Hello. But I've been preparing for way too long, baby. Now I'm waiting on my opportunity. Oh, Just say, coming. look, this is work. It's definitely coming. It's definitely congratulations on your LLC, by the way. Thank you. And congratulations on yours as well. What you say? <laughs> you know, we're, we're working. We're working. Okay. Okay. Now, I just want to know what's your favorite hairstyle to do? Not the easiest, but your personal favorite. Well, um, my clients have actually been bringing me like a lot of different stuff. Mm -hmm. So as I explore and as I experiment, it's like I fall in love with different hairstyles. Like one of my clients came with the butterfly braid. Okay. And I, love. I had never did it before until the first one I posted. And I said, you know, like, oh, well, this is something I can add to my wrist. Yeah. You know, um, the butterfly locks, you know, that's one of my top favorites, but I would rather say the knots. But I want to actually create my own hairstyle, you know, something that you I could just. You can do all the creativity, yeah. Oh, but you know, it's like, you got to build up this little support system. And yeah, that's the problem. Starting yeah. in somewhere small, you know, you have to push it out there in order for them to actually support you. Right. You know? And then for words for other people, in order, if you want actual support, you have to support other people as well. That's in the Bible. Okay. I don't know what chapter, but it's in there. Somewhere, somewhere off up in that deep. Deep on. <laughs> <laughs> What's the key to a nice, perfect braid, like a set braid? Like, I would think, you know, I don't know much about hair. I don't know anything about hair, actually. Like, I would think a good moisturizer, you know, you gotta, hair, you gotta have strong hair, some pretty roots, some um, edges. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, and that's the main one. That's the main key right there. Um, you know, not throwing anybody out there. Of course not. Like that, well not. But um, a lot of people come for a certain hairstyle. Right. And they make the stylist job hard because it's not them that's on a picture. 
So they expect to look exactly like the picture, but you're not going to look exactly like the picture because on the picture, this young lady hairline begins only an inch away from her eyebrows. Right. Yours begin five, six inches away from your eyebrows. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So sometimes we'll have to create. Sometimes the stylists have to improvise. You know, sometimes, you know. But overall, a nice clean braid will come if you wash your hair. Calm it out before you come to the stylist. Some stylists do it, you know. So mm -hmm. when you leave, you can have overall satisfaction, which I am one of them stylists. I do include that. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, to healthy hair is, is the key to a clean braid, overall. Mm -hmm. For us chocolate women, how often do you, um, we have to wash our hair? Um, overall, like, Back in days, what they say is, is actually, yeah, back in days, because I was raised by my great grandma. Okay. So, you know, I got like the old techniques. But back in days, what they said was, it's actually not healthy to constantly wash your hair. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. And people want to wash their hair once, twice a week, three times a week, you know, seven you know, times a month. Right, you know, it, all that isn't necessary. You know, as long as you maintain and keep up after you done wash your hair maybe twice a month, mm -hmm. that's all that's needed. Because really and truly, the dandruff that some people be um, insecure about, it, it doesn't actually be dirty dandruff. It's it be growing then. Exactly. exactly. So it's just receipts that you have new growth, baby. You know. Some people baby, be stunting they new growth is the old growth. Exactly. Baby, you know? So <laughs> <laughs> look what um because I have short hair. Which one would be easier for me to get a girl like me to get? Uh, would it be the the dreadlock looking things? I don't know, excuse me. Or the braid. I'm tender headed too, keep that in mind. Hmm. Well, these days, they got a lot of new techniques okay. for, um, for tender-headed, you know, clientele and whatnot because they, you know, I wasn't too easy-handed myself, you know. Right. I used to be, yeah, yeah, right. I used to be heavy-handed. You handed. Pull up in the chair. Right, not to scare off my clients, but I wanted my, I wanted my clientele to grow, you know. Right, and you want and to break the land. Exactly. So before I have clientele saying, oh no, he braids too tight. You know, I like his work, but he braids too tight and lose clientele. I would rather take constructive criticism right. and, you know, find out ways. Of now I'm telling you, I like a tight braid because ain't nothing like that old facelift looking look. Right, pull it up, pull it nice, good and fresh. And I see, you can give me a nice, good, tight look, but don't give me no bumps around the edges. Yeah, don't you do know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. All in the back of my neck and stuff. You know? it down. Right. But. But you know, for tender headed, um, for tender headed clientele, we have tension free braids, we have tension free twists. What's tension free? Um, tension free is more of a a cross shape um, type of technique. Oh, when they sew it in. Exactly. Instead of doing a lot of pulling and tugging, all you have to do is part, do a little braid, oh. you know, crochet <coughs> around the braid, and you know, do some wrapping. So therefore, it's it makes the braid or the lock. Lot, uh, a lot more lighter because right. you lose you use a lot less hair. Right. Overall, you know, is a lot less tension on the scalp. Right. You know, and the glands. Okay. Now, you know, we love hair, but one thing we love more than hair around here, boom, bitch, we got action is food. <laughs> <laughs> and we know we we spoke a little bit about humble sweets. Mm. Wouldn't we be hearing more about that? Because I only seen one thing about it, the uh, strawberry, was it the strawberry cakes? And I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. Because overall, I really didn't want anybody to think it was just simply strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. So now I'm experimenting with something else. Um, with the Reese parfaits and the Hershey parfaits, okay. Snickers parfaits. Um, I do the mixed berry shortcakes, okay. I do the raspberry shortcakes, strawberry shortcakes. The strawberry shortcake recipe actually came from my great grandma or something she used to make me when I was younger. Okay. And it kind of stuck with me, you know, whenever I want like a quick little dessert mm -hmm. or, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit peckish, I don't have a habit too many or something like that, want something to eat. Mm -hmm. Go up in there, you know, old remedies with scratch food right. and a few, uh, few fruit. Mix it up right quick, and you know, <laughs> everything, everything just natural. So you come here, yeah, we're going to get some, um, a nice clean braid. We're going to get a nice little, um, parfait. And, um, word on the street is, 
Somebody in the house, they make a little bad bum or two, you know, I'm just saying what I heard. Well, my husband. <laughs> Congratulations to him. He also just um he's also just starting his business. Yes. And it launches May first. Okay. And it's called Scented Pearls, which he makes um aromatherapy, he makes bad bombs, um, bad beads, um, different soaps. He makes um uh, Different soaps for different emotions and different feelings. Mm-hmm. You're exhausted. You had a long day at work. He has something for that. You have back pains and and back problems. He has something for that. You want to be energized, excited, um, ready to turn up. Take you a nice, good bath, smell good. You know, get you in a good little vibe, a good little mood to start it off. He has something for that. You know, I. To me, I make a joke and I call him the new upcoming Dr. C. Come on, quote unquote, okay? Don't say it too loud, you're gonna shot that man. Oh, okay, don't shoot that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so May 1st, you heard here. First on Boobitch, we gotta ask you, May 1st, go ahead on and get on get on to Miss Russell, honey. Yes. No, mm. Rusty, I'm so sorry, Rusty. Lord have mercy, I'm thinking of Russell Simmons. Uh, How you doing, Russell Simmons? We getting them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly, but surely. Okay. Yeah. But it's not baby fat, it's humble hair. Thank uh, you. LLC. Okay. Come see me. Thank you. <laughs> now look, before we go, we want to talk about the music. We got to talk about the music. We got to get What's new with the music? You got something else coming for us? Woo! Girl, okay. The thing of it is, when you've been doing stuff for so long, mm-hmm. and it's like you come with something new, and other people been making moves, it seems as if, you know, it's, it seems as if you're a follower. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, right along with hair, excuse me, way back then, mm-hmm. music, bounce music, all type of music, creating music, you know, I was doing that way back then as yes, well. Yes, you were. And, you know, and recording my own songs, doing videos, doing all that. Well, j Dog, shout out to him, or whatever, been, um, He's actually been kind of like pushing me right along with my husband and fans too, which kind of surprises me because I'm like, okay, I haven't pushed out music in so long. So you never know who's watching. Exactly. You know, so I'm like, I haven't pushed out music in so long and I'm walking through the dollar store. Hey, good. You know, and I sometimes I don't even know him. And they're like, so when you come with something new and I'll be like, oh, I'm working on something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I got a notepad in the room or whatever that got a hundred or some pages of unfinished songs, you know. But, um, I decided to go ahead and start back with the music. I'm gonna do something today. I have an upcoming song that's coming by DJ Bun, actually. And today I'm dropping something with JD. Well, you dropping something today? Yeah. Oh, that's an exclusive. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. you dropping something today. 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 Okay, you be on the lookout for that. Now, if somebody try to get in contact with Miss Goo, what is, out of social media platforms, what is your favorite go to platform and easiest platform if somebody can get in contact with Ooh, you? The easiest way I'm I am not gonna lie is Facebook. Okay. Which is a lot more complicated for, you know, other people. Mm-hmm. Cause they they come and I try to keep my, my business drama free. So right. I don't wanna hear anything else that a stylist have done. Right. Or a rapper have done, you right. know, because I, I'm, I'm not How in the game. How is it benefiting you? Exactly. So, you know, I'm not in the game for competition or trying to be better than them. I'm trying to be better than I was yesterday. Hello. You get what I'm saying? I've been out here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's just... It's, it's, uh, <laughs> they come and they sit down, you know, they, they give me a few words. But overall, Facebook, Messenger, you could get at me, you right. know. You... you that's the fastest way to contact me. What I is try your my best. Now he changed his name every five months, so come on, yeah. Keep up with him. <laughs> now it's Punch of Tula Goo. Punch Some of y'all it. knew it as You Know Goo, because mm-hmm. You Know Goo. Yes, they do. Okay, and then some of them knew it as Biggie Shorty. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't watch Poo the Tang, you, you get the joke. <laughs> but as of now, Punch of Tula Goo, the kind of individualize me more, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Goo from Punchatulo, oh, that's Goo that do hair, oh, that's the owner of Humble LLC. I was actually referring to you, they um, referred to you because they said you and Rusty was in a fashion show. Mm-hmm. That's how I heard from you. But, but I've been knowing you from um, around. I just seen you, I think you worked, I could be wrong, mm-hmm. where were you at KFC? 
What's it called? Burger King. Burger King. Okay. And I seen you there. Mm -hmm. But then um, I was looking for models and um, Jalissa Davis, who I love, through my lashes. She said, well, Goo and his husband, they're models. I was like, okay, girl, let me see who they are. And here Thank we you. are. <laughs> and here we are now. I'm at the Chateau. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, anybody who's about to, um, who's, any new fans that you're about to get, any new clients, what can they expect coming to Humble LLC headquarters? To get their hair done, to get a parfait, or if they just want to be a bathroom and smell good for their makeup. Period. Well, one thing you can expect is the new everything. Believe me, there's going. We're going to keep new specials running. We're going to keep you know new um, new bath products. Well, my husband is going to keep new bath products and new um, aromatherapy things coming. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best because I do so much. Try my best because I do so much. You do. To be consistent with music, so I'm gonna keep you know new music, new entertainment. Um, I'm I'm actually working on a style right now. Why I'm saying I wanted to create my own style, but it's hard because some people be the took dreads and be the made it into distressed dreads mm -hmm. and stuff and whatnot. So you know it got what a bazillion people in the world would like, you know, right, would have for them thinking the way that you think. the way income tax set up, we're going to have a zillion more. You know, what you say? They popping them out. I'm, I'm trying to tell you just to get that. And answer. speaking of popping them out, you took a pregnancy test the other day. Yes, baby, I had to. What did it say? Girl, it was the other day, I mean. I think, I think I was going through a retribution phase, girl. It was just a little game. Oh, look at it. Yeah, just okay. a little game. There's your child. There's your child. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for you and Rusty to even welcome me and, and have me here at the... Let me tell you, I love this. This Thank whole you. setup. I love this. It's fabulous. This has been a boo bitch. We got action exclusive. I hope I ain't showing out too much cool to care. I was trying to be very classy. So. As always. As always. <laughs> Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend who's gonna tell a friend. And she's gonna tell another friend who happens to be a whore. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching Blue Bitch. We got action with Punch It to Look Good. Boom, bitch. <laughs>